So is the new machine learning slow motion in Final Cut 10.8 any good? Let's find out. Some clips like this close up of a model getting her eyebrows fixed works really well. And this new feature is significantly better than the old optical flow. These frames illustrate a challenging scene for the old optical flow method. However, the new machine learning approach handles these frames significantly better, as you can see here. And here's another example. The slowed down footage isn't something I would use in a professional video, but portions of the machine learning clip could actually be used as B-roll. The most challenging scenarios typically involve rapid motion and objects emerging from occlusion, as this example where the woman is showing behind the man's hand. This sequence shows a bike flying in mid-air, slowed to 10% of its original speed. The conventional optical flow method on the right fails significantly under these conditions, while the machine learning approach on the left performs substantially better, it still encounters difficulties with fine background details, such as the sand visible in this footage. To wrap up, Final Cut Pro 10.8's new machine learning based super slow motion is a game changer for certain scenarios. It's particularly effective for short, high quality clips with predictable motion. While not perfect, it's a major leap forward from the optical flow method. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos.